Okay, we had another question, which was about, uh, does the queen make all the babies herself and lay all those eggs? And then the other part of that was, how are these uh, actually born? So what are the stages they go through? So if we could start with the first question. Yeah, so the queen, in, in the case of honeybees, there's just one queen per colony and she does all the egg laying for that colony. So she can lay as much as 2000 eggs a day if she has enough room to lay. So that takes hive management. Um, and so these baby bees start off and it looks like a little tiny, tiny grain of rice. And then it develops over the course of 21 days into a mature bee that hatches out and is ready to go. Oh, you've got a picture, great. Look at so, that. Hmm? So you can see they also cap the, um, the brood during a stage of development. So when it's uh, an egg in the day six, it's still uncapped, but then, and it's kind of C-shaped there, and then they cap it, um, you can see in the middle, and it continues to develop. And when I say cap it, that's just sealed with some wax there. I believe it's wax, it might be something, it's a darker color, I don't know if it's like a, it could be like a propolis instead of wax. Interesting. And yeah, if you think about the queen laying 2,000 eggs a day, that's 2,000 bees that are all kind of hatching at the same time. They really can keep up. You can see how they would get 30,000 bees in a hive with that type mm -hmm. of schedule. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're taking so many bees to make so little honey, they really need to keep it, uh, keep a good cycle. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Thanks, Hannah. Sure.